Before we start rigging, we need to organize our folder structure and environment. So here on my folder structure for this uh, workshop, I have uh, one folder that it's called build. There I will create all my custom steps, data, and everything that builds the rig will be here. So in order to build or to create this folder, it's just very simple with your uh, explorer in Windows or any other application you use, just create the folders as follow. Like we have the assets, data, and scripts. And if you saw my um, talk about data center rigging, you are already familiar with this. This folder structure is not something that you need to be following 100%. I mean, you can do whatever you want as far as you understand and you are, feel comfortable with this folder structure. The only thing that was on my talk on data center rigging that is not being, it's not going to be used here is the share folders. It's something that it's more like for a uh, big project management, but this, the, 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 um, the focus of this workshop is not to handle these kind of uh, questions. It's more like to focus on the facial rigging. So we will not use uh, share folders. So basically we have the assets that I have here, my, my geo, that is the, the face that is going to be used for, for the rigging. And I have here some folder called versions, just in case I want to save some, some versions. In data, I don't have anything yet. We will build this uh, in this workshop, of course. And in scripts, I have my post and pre uh, folder that corresponds to the uh, custom steps pre and, and post. Um, on the pre, I already have one ready here. It's import you. We will see it later. And I think in post, I have a couple of uh, custom steps here also that we will see it later. So that's it for the folder structure. This package will be on the Gumroad package, so you can check it out. And next one, it's my Maya environment. So I have it open here. So it's this tab here in the center. So this is how I configure my Maya on the launcher. It's like kind of dot bad. If you're using uh, other uh, OS like um, Linux or um, OS X for Mac, uh, maybe it's different, so you need to, to figure out that by yourself if you're using another uh, OS that it's not Windows. But yeah, basically what I do here, I set some um, environment variables. Some of them are from Maya, the false one from Maya, and some of them are for specific for mGear. So in this case, I'm just going to go quickly here. This one, the first one, a voice to create this uh, PC, um, y, uh, PI, PIZ, compile Python uh, files. So when you execute Python, it, pre it compiles the, the, the file. So it's going to create duplicated uh, files. Um, I don't like that. It's not that that uh, big advantage for us because we keep changing a lot the custom steps. So I I have this environment uh, variable set to one. That's true. And I will avoid that. Then I have my, my uh, application directory. This is to have different um, custom preferences for my uh, daily use uh, Maya configuration and this training configuration. I have my Maya model path. This is important. This is where I set what is my uh, mGear configuration. At the moment, I'm working with the 3.6.0. I'm also developing mGear right um, at the same time I'm doing this uh, workshop. So probably we'll have uh, some variation or some changes on during the um, the recording of this workshop so we may end up having a new version when we finish this workshop um for mgear shifter custom components it's another another folder i place it here on the um sorry um this is the custom steps no custom components it's the where we have the the custom steps that i just talked before so it's this folder here and this is important because all the path it's going to be relative to that uh folder so when you get the gun road package if you always do that at home by yourself it's important to set up this configuration correctly because all the path will be relative so the way that you you can use the gun row one it's that you set this path so it doesn't matter if you where you place it on your hard drive or server if you put this path correctly all the path will be relative more or less i will explain that later because some tools maybe it's a hard coded one okay um then um we have the shifter uh, component path this is when you have a custom components for your project i leave it here just a memo but we will not use it unless uh i don't plan to use it maybe 
because it's going to be flexible this workshop so maybe i use it later then i have a few other um environment variables from maya like this no console so the second window that show up in maya when you launch it it's not going to be showing up in my uh, screen and some like to send some reports and some login this just um helps to start up maya a little faster and last but not least, this um maya warning missing the full render that it's if you don't have arnold loaded so it's gonna error out like eh, arnold is not here so you can set this so don't uh, don't worry me <laughs> that i i know i don't have arnold and last is the Maya version. I'm gonna use Maya 2018. Uh, I think you can follow along with any other Maya version. So it depends on you. You may want to change this or not. So that's the um, environment configuration. And yeah, I think that's all. We are ready to continue with the facial rigging workshop.